guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. We are finally down to pulling Basara's brand new crossover costume because he is wearing the iconic design. Um, well, without the frilly skirt at least, <laughs> of Kaname's default Walkure costume. So, yes, and if you guys have been working hard at the event, uh, because, well, we all know by now the very first gacha featured in any of the three main major events um, will have event gacha tickets for you to utilize to pull free template pools. Um, and of course, not spending the singing stones that you probably have saved up or are saving up for future gachas if you are a free to play player. Alright, so if you're wondering why this video is uh, technically a day late, it's because yesterday I kind of had spent some time with um, some of my Japanese um, brothers in Singapore. So uh, we are celebrating a farewell and of course uh, my belated birthday. So yeah, my birthday has passed. It's been four days technically <laughs> since my birthday, but it's, it's nice to have um, people still remembering um, your special day. So let's dive into the gacha page um, and take a look at Basara's brand new episode plate and see how does it fare. Um, of course you can see I still have some of my free pools um, that I've not used because maybe I'm trying to flush the luck out as uh, apparently Ranka or rather um, any other gachas that has been coming out this month uh, aside from the six, um, the seven star episode plates, I've been having terrible luck with those. So let's take a look and see if we can get good luck with Basara's episode plate. First things off, three thousand seven hundred and sixty-four total score, pretty good for a uh, six star episode plate at least. Um, not the best we've seen, but still pretty good. Um, One thousand nine hundred and twenty. 9 soul? Hmm, so it hints that technically the new or rather the new featured song is not exactly a new song. Um, for Macross 7 definitely utilizes the soul um, type series of points to gain the high score. So if you're trying to get a very good high score, which technically you should be doing considering that this is a high score challenge. Um, make sure you equip episode plates that focus on soul. So you might want to use that filter option to select soul um, for the episode plates that you're trying to find to equip onto your diva setup. So yeah, so it does have a bit more points on charm and of course voice taking the the horrible dive in terms of stats. Um, of course, pay attention to the three other divas that can use Basara's episode plate, and of course, Kaname has to be there since she is <laughs> being featured in the fully evolved version of this episode plate. And technically, where well, Basara is wearing her costume. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, units so is boosted by 90% up so technically this episode plate can be used as a center position episode plate if you don't have a 7 star Macross 7 soul series uh, episode plate to help boost the high score factor so yeah this is definitely a good point for this episode plate um, sadly to say, the active skill isn't though. <laughs> if it was a high score achieving active skill, probably this episode plate would have been a better option uh, for replacement of a 7 star episode plate. So, yeah. Life skill? Hmm, it's one of, another one of those new episode plates with the fold improvement um, and scoring. So. Yeah, if you guys don't know what this is, basically during the Valkyrie mode, the Valkyrie attack phase, um, you know, for all the foe that you have been building up up to the Valkyrie attack phase, um, for every 1%, basically you gain a 1% boost in high score, and of course the total you can increase is 110%, um, and it lasts for 16 seconds, so pretty okay in terms of score. Um, and it's a short duration ability, so take note on that if you're trying to boost the percentage uh, gain 
uh, with episode plates with score improvement abilities. So yeah, moving along on the last page, sadly to say, no no special notes attached to these episode plates yet. So since this life skill is technically kind of new, we don't know exactly when Dana might include a special note attachment to these episode plates. But when they do, make sure you stand by your singing stones to try and attain them because they're gonna be a whole game changer in terms of high score achievement. So yeah. Hey, with all that said, should you pull Basara's gacha? Well, technically, as usual, uh, if you are a Basara fan, I definitely would recommend you to try and attain a copy at least and then evolve that single copy with a rare up star if you're trying to save singing stones. If not, if you're not a Basara fan, I would highly recommend you to skip on this gacha. It's not necessary. After all, Basara's costume, you can technically get costume points from the episode place within the event itself. So you just have to gain some costume points and after that just use episode orbs to unlock the costume if you have enough of them. Um, if not, you know, save your singing stones because Milane's Kawawa Makina crossover costume is locked behind a gacha wall. So technically if you're trying to unlock all the costumes, um, you should be using your singing stones on um, Milane's costume that's coming up very soon. So yeah, like I recommended you guys, I'm not gonna spend my singing stones on the discounted template pool for Basara. I'm just gonna use the free 10 uh, event gacha tickets which we which I've already unlocked, um, you know, by completing all the mission requirements. So, and of course, one other factor is that um, I don't ha really have enough <laughs> singing stones to do a template pool for Basara's discounted pool. Yeah, because I've used um, 50 singing stones for the double, uh, the D double um, gacha pools that has been, you know, popping up in the last few days. Because it's definitely more worthwhile to pull two episode plates for a cost of one. So yeah, alright. With that said, let's go ahead and start pulling all the free stuff first. Let's test the waters and see how the luck is for today. So recently I've been getting some pretty nice episode plates from this gacha. Um, I did pull up maybe one or two copies of uh, 5 star costume point plate like this one <laughs> uh, or at least I did pull out one that was literally a 5 star that can evolve to a 6 star form so I don't know it, it seems like the luck is trying to um, surface out into the open but mm. It's, it's still kind of shy. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have the free daily pool as well. Plus, we have a lot of Super Dimension tickets um, ever since the Bingo missions were introduced. So, probably might use that to flush out the luck. <clears throat> Excuse me, something's in my throat. Uh. Okay. So nothing special from the free daily pool as well and the episode play is pretty mediocre in terms of rarity since I do have double digits of it. So it's not exactly a fantastic single free pool but mm, you know. Okay so let's test water here. We do have 51 tickets or technically I do. You guys should probably have more if you have not been pulling it. Um, so these are the remaining amounts that I have from um, the bingo missions so yeah and 12 copies are gonna expire on the 16th of September so that's technically still kind of a long way but I'm just gonna do a template pool here and then sparingly spread these out throughout the rest of the gacha videos next month alright so we did get a bit of a average load speed there mm. Let the Valkyries fly. Okay, so we seem to be on the path of good luck. 
considering there's five Valkyries. Oh, we do get a rainbow box. Okay, that's pretty exciting. Costing points. Nice. Alright, here's the first red box. So no evolution to it. That's fine. Okay. Because we don't really want to use the luck on a super dimension gachado. Oh! Okay. Um it's not exactly Mikumo's best episode plate, but you know, it's always nice to attain a another copy of any episode place, you know, after explaining the high score and the luck leaf uh, factor to you guys in the tutorial videos. I'm sure you guys can appreciate duplicate copies right now. Uh, if you can't, then I think <laughs> you might want to reconsider your gaming strategy. Alright, so, I mean, technically this episode plate here is pretty decent. I mean, it's not the best total score considering that it's a pretty old episode play, but it does have this, um, which is the healing note. Um, so it does help to, you know, give you guys a good chance of still gaining high score. So considering it as a score repeat ability, and you probably can survive a bit better with this special note attachment. So if you're practicing extreme songs, you know, and still trying to consider high score, this episode plate is pretty okay. So I have technically been using it, so it's not too bad. Alright, so with that done, um, let's go ahead and pull Basara's template pool with the event gacha tickets. Um, hopefully we get more costume points to try and unlock Basara's costume without the need of episode ops. Um, yeah, so let's do this. We'll go with the single free pool first. Hopefully we don't get something magical out of this single free pool. Uh oh, what was that load bar? Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> it's it's always a bit worrying to see the single free pool get good luck. Oh no. Oh it evolved too! And it went to its seven star. Oh my goodness! What is this luck? I don't have this Freya costume as well. I think I don't. Yeah, it's new for me. Oh, I am grateful, but you know, luck going into the single free pool. That's just oh god. <laughs> What is going on? Oh no! Am I gonna have horrible luck with Basara's actual template pool now? Oh god. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> this is not good. I mean, it is good, but it's not looking good for the current featured plate. Uh, okay, let's do this. So, template pool with the event gacha tickets. Oh no. I'm happy. Seriously, I'm happy, but I'm just worried. <laughs> oh wow! We seem to get a bit of a decent slow load there. So maybe there is a chance. It seems like this day is turning out to be pretty lucky. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Okay, three red boxes. Alright, costume points. That's basically the bare minimum. Here we go, the first of the three red boxes. Uh, you know, we've seen Max's smug face. Oh! Oh! Evolve! Okay. Hey! It's one of the featured bonus episode plates, so that's nice. And I don't have it evolved, so that's pretty sweet for me. Okay. Alright, so we don't get Basara's featured episode plate, but you know, getting a copy of a 6 star episode plate and of course fully evolving this 5 star to a 6 star form, that's pretty nice. So overall, a pretty good episode <laughs> for Gacha. Oh wow! So I guess I, I was planning to actually go and do the guaranteed 5 star ticket from the bingo, bingo ticket missions, so Hmm, maybe I can save that for Maki Maki's 
costume for Milane. Oh no, does that mean that Gacha is gonna flop? I'm so worried now. Oh no. Anyway guys, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Ultra Macross Gacha videos. Uh, what do you guys think of Basara's episode plate? Uh, what did you guys get for yourself? As usual, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next Ultra Macross Gacha video. Until then, bye!